Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you how to have multiple effects in your Razor Chroma effects. So if you want to have multiple kind of uh, effects on each part of the um, lighting, so you can see each of these is kind of one area, and then this is one area, and this is one area. So you can see right now all of them are being affected by the waves. But if I want to add the, uh, but if I want to add the spectrum cycling to it, since it's already on wave, I have to put it on top so that it actually works. Otherwise, it's just going to stay the same. So I'm going to click on spectrum cycling, and I'm going to select what I want to be spectrum cycled. So I'm going to select the it's kind of the scroll and the razor logo. And I can change the speed to make it fast, since the other lighting is pretty fast. And I can click save. And I'll show you how this looks. And you can even go one step further and, you know, keep the Razer logo. Maybe since, you know, Razer's theme color is green, and I can, you know, take the breathing effect and select the Razer logo and just breathe in and out of green. And then I can make the scroll bar, say I want the fire effect for that one, and just choose two colors, so maybe red and blue. So now I have a different effect for each of the components of the mouse. So let me show you what this looks like. Now I can also make it even more advanced and actually change each and every one of these things. Now that's going to take some time, but it ends up looking really cool. So I can just select maybe two of these and change the color of those to something different and that's just gonna change the look of it even more so it'll look really unique you know it's not just a standard I'm gonna show you some some effects that I've made that are pretty complicated so here's one that's called hybrid spectrum I have the breathing in and out of green for the razor logo I have the starlight effect for the scroll bar, which is just random, and for the sides, I have the spectrum cycling, but each, every two is like a different speed. So this part is fast on both sides, this is medium, and this is slow. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. After some time, it ends up looking really cool. <laughs> So another effect I have is the ultimate spectrum, and this one just has the wave effect on the sides and the spectrum on the scroll wheel and razor logo. So you can see it's pretty much the same as what I showed you earlier. And then the last one which I also like is the red-blue. So basically what I did for this one is I they're all under the wave effect, but I actually manipulated what colors the wave is, so you can click on here, and I have this color thing so I changed it to red to blue and I wanted to minimize the amount of purple so I put a little only a little bit of space between the red and blue if I had made it a uh, wider space then it would be a lot more purple since that's what red and blue the combined make purple so I'm going to show you what this looks like <laughs> So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful, just showing you how to make some advanced chroma effects for your Razer mouse. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.